Today I'm gonna be attempting to make an illustration with only ball pointed pens. Hey guys, welcome to Scouted Drawing. My name is Manuel and I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna be challenging myself to make a whole illustration with only ball pointed pens. Before we get into the video, I just wanna inform you guys that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. And yes, we're getting sponsored finally on the channel. Uh, Skillshare is an amazing site with over 20,000 classes on drawing, design, illustration, and many more. A lot of courses there really helped me when it came to drawing, filmmaking, and stuff. One of my favorite YouTubers, Draw With Jazza, has a course there on how to be a YouTuber, okay? That helped me a lot when it came to my YouTube channel. So if you wanna check out his and many other helpful courses on the website, all you have to do is click the link in the description to get two months of free Skillshare to check out as many courses and as many classes as you want. Normally, you'd pay about 15 bucks a month, okay? But if you use my link to sign up right now, you'll get two months of free Skillshare without any commitment whatsoever. If you don't like it, you don't have to pay. Click the link in the description to sign up now. And yes, we're finally getting sponsored on the channel. Yeah, I never thought this day would come, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> anyway, with that in mind, let's get on with the video. All right, so I've got three different pens here, and these are pretty much three of the most commonly used pens, okay? Everybody has a big, whether it be a black, blue, or red. But the question is, can you make a decent looking drawing using all three pens um, to make one illustration? Now, to be honest, I think so. Okay, it's, I think it's obviously you can you can make art with pretty much anything. But since, you know, this is something that is probably one of the most commonly used things, I just thought that, you know, it, it would be a fun challenge to try to make an illustration using three different pens. Now, I'm not going to be using any sort of pencil or eraser or anything. So anything that is on the paper is going to be on the, on the paper, okay? It's not going to get erased or anything. With that in mind, let's get right into the drawing. I, to, to this video, I'm going to be drawing Tagami, okay, from Kuroko no Basket. Kuroko no Basket is an anime that I just recently finished watching. To be honest, it's actually a very good anime. And, you know, Kagami is actually kind of a red character, okay? He has red hair, red eyes. So since we have a red pen, I just thought it might be fun. Um, character to try out and draw. I'm gonna try to use each different pen for a different section of the drawing. The red pen I'm gonna try to use to sketch out the drawing. Since it's the lightest pen, I'm gonna try to use that to sketch out the drawing. Now the blue pen I'm gonna try to use to draw the drawing and the black pen I'm gonna try to use to ink the drawing. So with these three um, different um, colors I'm gonna try to make a whole illustration so the first thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sketch out the drawing okay using this red pen and then come back and then start drawing the character all right so I pretty much use the red pen to kind of add a very basic and rough layer of um, sketch okay now I'm still sketching the whole drawing because I can't eyeball drawings okay I have to add the basics first before adding the details because personally I, I can't eyeball the drawing so I'm still adding the sketch but it's actually a very light layer of sketch okay because the red pen is actually very the lightest um, pen of them all so it's actually a good option to use as the base layer now this is not the only time that I'm gonna use the, the red pen okay I'm gonna bring it back later on to kind of color the hair and everything. So I'm gonna use the blue pen to start drawing this illustration. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that the tone, okay, is kind of similar to the black one, okay, in terms of darkness. One thing that I noticed that I should do is kind of not press a whole lot because they are kind of similar in terms of darkness. So this stage is still kind of sketching, all right, but you are adding more detail um, than, you know, with the red pen, all right? That's why I thought that, you know, using the blue pen would be a good option, okay, for this part of the of the drawing. Now, this is not a tutorial. I didn't intend for this video to be a tutorial, but if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to try to draw the, the eyebrows. Kuroko no Basket is, um, as I mentioned, is is an anime that I just finished, recently finished drawing, um, drawing, watching. And to be honest, it's a, it's a very good anime, okay? I actually highly recommend that you watch it, okay? Even if you're not into basketball or anything, to be honest, I, I think it's still a pretty good anime. I think it, you could still enjoy it if you don't, even if you don't enjoy watching sports. I just thought that in this video, I would just kind of, you know, talk a little bit about the anime because to be honest I have a little bit to to say about it right I have um some kind of feedback about it as I mentioned it's a really very good anime all right um one of the best ones that I've watched the beginning was actually pretty good the first two seasons of the anime was actually very good in my opinion with a kind of a sports anime it's actually pretty difficult to keep things fresh in a sense right because you know it's only them just 
you know, just playing basketball and it's actually very difficult to, to come up with new concepts and everything because the only thing that they're doing is pretty much playing games. Now, if you're really into sports or basketball or uh, pretty much any sports, to be honest, I think you'll, it's an anime that you'll actually enjoy watching because, you know, you're, you're the kind of person that enjoys sports. But if you're the kind of person that, you know, you're, you're seeking, I don't know, um, adventure or I don't know new things. I'm not saying that they don't make new things. All right I'm just saying that it's in a sense. It, it is kind of a little bit repetitive um, most especially when it came to the Second third season I, I would say it got to a point where I, I thought personally it was um, was kind of repetitive Okay, because you know, it's actually pretty difficult to come up with a new concept What they're doing is pretty much just playing one match after the other Okay, and in a sense it does get a little boring. I'm just thinking from my point of view, okay, there are people, there might be people out there who who love it, all right? Like, I don't know that they don't find absolutely nothing wrong with the anime, and that's perfectly fine. It's actually a really good anime, all right? So I actually do recommend that you watch it. I'm just saying that like to the third season and stuff, I, I feel like it, it's, it's kind of getting a little too repetitive in my opinion since we're drawing a character from um, Kuroko no Basket I just thought I would mention it in the video as you can see I'm pretty much I'm just pretty much taking my time here I'm not rushing this so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly just draw the whole thing as you can notice I'm not pressing it very harshly okay I'm still kind of pressing it kind of lightly I don't know if you're following along is something that you might want to do what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna draw the whole the rest of the thing in, in time-lapse and then pretty much come back and then start inking the drawing with the black pen Alright, so before heading into time lapse again, I just thought I would do some real time inking. Alright, I don't know, there might be people out there who might be interested in seeing the inking process. Alright, so I'm just gonna, you know, start inking. In the inking, I'm not doing anything um, special, okay? I am pretty much doing the same thing that I always do, except for, you know, since this is a pen, alright, the ink kind of goes out a little bit different, so I have to kind of go over it a couple times, but um, that's pretty much the only difference when it comes to inking. I don't know if you noticed, but I, there are kind of tiny mistakes okay you have very tiny mistakes here and there because you know I can't erase it so it's something that I'm, I'm gonna have to correct as I'm inking it all right so yeah just in case you guys I don't know in case you guys noticed some mistakes here and there but yeah another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know I don't know for for those of you who've watched the anime you know there's this thing called the zone where you know kind of lightning goes out, <laughs> comes out from um, from their eyes all right so I'm gonna try to do that kind of lightning effect as well um, from the eyes the way that I'm gonna be doing it the lightning itself is gonna be white okay but the glow around it is gonna be um, red okay giving it that kind of glowy effect all right so that's uh, something that I don't know in case for those of you who who are wondering how uh, I'm gonna do that. That's pretty much how I'm going to try to achieve that um, that lightning effect. And I'm also gonna be using the red pen to color the hair. As you can notice, this part, um, for those of you who know Kagami, this part is actually dark. It's actually kind of a very dark red, kind of almost heading into purple. But since it's really dark, I'm just gonna use black to kind of shade that part. I think I've pretty much said everything that I need to say. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to kick it off into time lapse. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish this drawing. All right, and then pretty much come back with some final words. Alright guys, you have my video on the 
only pen challenge okay three color pen challenge i don't know how to call this video this is pretty much the end result to be honest i think it turned out pretty great okay if you guys think i should make more challenges like this okay let me know in the comments below uh let me know what other weird challenges i mean this this wasn't all that weird okay it's actually something that i've not tried before okay i know it's really hard to believe but it, i've actually never tried to make a whole drawing with three different pens okay i know it's hard to believe but i've actually never tried it before so this was an actually this was actually a pretty interesting challenge one thing that i noticed that while i was inking and doing everything my hand was actually hurting a little bit because you have to actually press a lot okay because the the ink doesn't come out when you just you know lightly press it okay so to actually bring out the ink you actually have to press really hard and you know throughout the whole drawing my hand was hurting just a teeny bit i don't know just something that I, I thought you guys might be interested in knowing yeah let me know what you guys think of the challenge okay hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up guys it really helps me a lot to know that you guys are liking my videos and uh, yeah thank you all for liking commenting, sharing, and subscribe remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye